Today we discuss about very very important reaction that is a ring expansion in SN1 reaction. So what happened in the ring expansion in the SN1 reaction? So here it is a compound is a pure bromine then which is react with the OH minus this is a weak nucleophile in the presence of polar solvent. So final product is this one. Ring expansion is possible here OH. So many times in entrance exam they are asking the question, this type of the questions in they are asking in advanced exam and high level exams. So ring expansion, ring expansion, how to involve the ring expansion. So listen. So first here that is a step one. Step one always formation of intermediate. So we wrote the formation of formation of intermediate formation of intermediate means that is a carbocation because SN1 reaction it is a ring expansion case is always SN1 reaction so here we are taking the cyclopentyl group with the bromine here polar solvent it is a slow step slow step so so uh, slow step so first it is a loss of a BR BR minus Br minus, so here loss of Br minus, so here this is a carbocation, so any that the condition is a ring expansion conditions, ring, ring expansion conditions, ring expansion conditions, any three member ring adjacent carbocation is there, it converted to four member ring carbocation. If it is a four member ring adjacent carbocation is there, it is converted to five member ring carbocation. If it is a five member ring adjacent carbocation is there, it is converted to six member ring carbocation. If it is a six member is there, it does not convert, it is involving rearrangement. So here this one. This is actually what is so here this is a five member ring. So here ring expansion takes place. Here this bond is moved to here, then this one gets the positive charge. This one gets the negative charge. This is a negative attack to positive. Negative attack to positive. So this is actually bond. This is a positive charge. So here one carbon, second carbon, third carbon, fourth carbon, fifth carbon, sixth carbon. Shall I write like this? So both are same. Both are same. So we wrote for convenient, it is a six member ring. Then after that, it is a secondary carbocation. So here hydrogen is there. This hydrogen shifted to here. This is we are calling as a rearrangement. Rearrangement so that here, this is a tertiary carbocation. Whenever it is a rearrangement, it is involving rearrangement. Then always it should get the, should get the more stable carbocation more stable carbon. This is actually step 1. Again I will write a step 2. This step 2 OH minus attacking of OH minus it is a fast step. This is actually step 2. So this is OH minus attack to here then it form the final product. This is a final product. See this one. So this is actually ring expansion. First we are taking the whatever that uh, 5 member ring adjacent to carbocation. So it is a converted to 6 member ring. This is a ring expansion, very very important. So this is the first loss of Br minus. It gives the carbocation again adjacent. This bond is moved to here, negative and a positive. This negative attack to positive. So this one. Again this positive charge as usual. Again it, we have to convert this like this because of for convenient we wrote both are same. That's what we wrote. Uh, Line 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 carbon. See here also 6 carbon. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 carbon. Again, it is why hydrogen shifted to here because it is a secondary carbocation. Hydrogen shifted to here, it converted to tertiary carbocation. So, this is an intermediate for this reaction. Intermediate. Intermediate. Then, this is a carbocation. Then, first step. It is actually second step. Up to this one, first step. Then OH minus attack to here, then we get the 5 and 4. This is a SM1 reaction. Thank you. Thank you.